Hey everybody, it's that time again, time for Daryl's Monday Market Report. The first market report of 2021. Happy New Year everyone. Let's hope 2021 is much better than last year. Real estate wise, going to be hard to compete, but it looks like we're off to a great start. So, of course, last week was a holiday. So, as of this week, in Collin County, the last seven days had 570 new properties that were either new to the market or had sold. That's up 38 from the prior week. We're down from our peak of over a thousand or so. But that's expected this time of year. So this week in Collin County, 93 new homes hit the market or had a price change. 128 went under contract. 75 went pending. 278 sold. So that's about three times the number of properties sold that hit the market this week in the last seven days in Collin County. The market's super hot. If you're thinking of selling, yeah, there's less properties on the market. Better for you because there's still a lot of buyers out there, sellers, and interest rates. I talked to one of my lenders this morning. They dropped again, so that's driving that demand. And buyers, though there's a lot of competition, you can lock in a lower payment. That's what's going to matter right now because prices will probably continue to increase. We have 365 people a day still moving to DFW for the next nine years. That's unlikely to change. Okay, in Allen this week, we had seven new properties hit the market or had a price change, 11 that went under contract, five went pending, and 27 that sold. So over three times the number of homes that were hit the market this week sold in Allen. So inventory is low and tight across the board. Lucas this week, nothing new in the last seven days to the market. Two went under contract, nothing pending in the last seven days and one that sold. Of course, Lucas is one of our smaller markets. So if you're looking to sell Lucas, no new competition. The new the new uh, bird gets all the attention. So be the, the shiniest object on MLS. Parker this week, nothing new on the market. Nothing pending, nothing sold. One property, one under contract there. So Parker, thinking of selling again. Going to be the only new thing to the market in the last seven days. New properties get all the views when they hit the market, so keep that in mind. Fairview, two new properties hit the market or had a price change. One went under contract, two went pending, and five sold. So see, even in Fairview, one of our smaller and more expensive markets, by the way. Over double the number of homes sold that hit the market this week, so things are moving well there as well. McKinney, we had 15 new properties hit the market or had a price change. 29 went under contract, 3 went pending, 62 sold. So a, almost four times the number of properties sold has hit the market this week. So inventory velocity, you hit the market, you're going to sell that 30 days or less typically. Your price dwell. Plano this week, 13 new properties hit the market or had a price change, 39 went under contract. So three times the number of homes went under contract that hit the market this week. So velocity is fast there too. Six went pending, 52 sold. So almost four times the number of homes, well, four times the number of homes sold in Plano as compared to how many hit the market this week. So that inventory is tied across the board. Looking to sell anywhere in Collin County, really good chance you're going to sell over list price, multiple offers in many cases. So, and that's what that's what I'm seeing every week. Frisco this week, 14 new homes hit the pro, hit the market or had a price change. 21 went under contract, 16 went pending, and 50 sold. And Frisco's really one of our higher price markets. Not quite as high as uh, Fairview in general, but it's still not much of a first-time buyer market. 450 generally is what you're looking at for new construction out there starting. Melissa this week with three new properties hit the market or had a price change. Three went under contract, two went pending, and ten that sold. Princeton, we had eight new properties hit the market or had a price change, two that went under contract, 25 that went pending, 
20 that sold. Wiley, seven new properties hit the market out of price change, four went under contract, three that went pending, and 16 that sold. In Anna, we had two new properties hit the market, had a price change, four that went under contract, two that went pending, 15 that sold. Look at that, seven times the number of homes sold as compared to what's new to the market in Anna. So, super hot market in Anna. Little smaller market, a lot of new construction there. Laban, nothing new to the market this week in the last seven days. Two went under contract, five went pending, and two that sold. And the Dallas Morning News announced a new subdivision that's going up in uh, Laban. I believe it's a thousand homes or a little more than that. So Laban's on fire. And on Friday of last week, I did do a video about homestead exemptions. Hopefully you watch that. If not, go subscribe to my channel, look, and you'll see that. If you have any questions about your homestead exemption, if you if you are in that home as of January 1st of this year and you bought last year and closed and funded, you're able to apply for a homestead exemption if it's your primary residence. If you have any questions for me, want me to talk about another subject, be happy to. I'm at 469-438-5943. Hope you're doing well. And I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.